Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for November 7th to the 21st. For November 7th to the 11th, we have a trough here off the west coast or along the west coast. And we have a trough here in the east. And we have a ridge in the plains that expands eastward as we go through time, as we go into the period and the flow flattens. So we come to the end of the period, and this is what we see. We have a generally flatter flow. Now, um, talk about the system off the southeast coast. Here it is Sunday and Monday. And this is the GFS. Keeps it pretty much offshore. The precipitation stays offshore. And then we look at the uh, European. Seems a little deeper and further offshore. And then we look at the European ensembles. So it pretty much stays offshore, but there is a possibility of some light rain across eastern um, Carolina Sunday and possible coastal areas of the northeast. And this will be dependent on the eventual track that the storm system takes. Now also in the west, we'll have several um, Pacific systems you can see here. And um, along with upper level energy will result in enhanced precipitation for much of next week in the west. Higher elevation snow will be possible. And the low consolidates over the Midwest. And this will cause rain along a trail and cold front from the plains to Mississippi Valley. Right here, you see it, this is GFS. And there is a possibility of snow, you can see it on the backside of the system across the northern and central plains. Looking ahead for the period for November 12th to the 16th, the miles to pick 12 to 16 have a ridge in the west, trough in the east, but this is not in agreement with the ensemble means, which have more of a zone of flow across the area ridge here in the west, but still a zone of flow. So I'm going to go with the ensemble means for now. And for this period, I'm calling for I'm calling for above normal temperatures from the Mississippi Valley to the Atlantic coast. And I'm calling for anomalies of four to six degrees above normal for precipitation. I'm calling for above normal pre precipitation here. Probability of currents is up to 55%, and that'll be across portions of the Northwest. Below normal precipitation forecast here, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. During the next period, uh, I want to go here. The NAO is forecast to be negative, and the NAO is also forecast to be negative. So I'm um, going with this forecast here, and we we'll can see that the uh, flow becomes more amplified. You see we have a ridge in the west, trough in the east. The models are varying in intensity, but still the fact there's a ridge in the west, uh, trough in the east, above normal heights here of the North Atlantic. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for Home for above normal temperatures for this for much of the plains of the Pacific coast. I'm calling for anomalies of at least eight degrees above normal, mainly across portions of the southwest. Below normal temperatures are forecast here at the anomalies of four to six degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this region. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent. And we have above normal precipitation forecast here with the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for November 7th to the 21st. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.